How to install a Unique Home Designs Premium Steel Security Screen Door for Laser Cut Models. First, lay the package on a flat and sturdy surface. Verify that you have purchased the correct model, size, and color by the label on the front of the package. Carefully cut the packing straps. With the package now open, remove the bottom bar, threshold plate, and bug sweep and set aside. Remove the top head jam and set aside. Remove the lock side jam from the package and set aside. The slimline mortise hardware includes the internal assembly, inside and outside handles, locking assembly, and fasteners. A door closer is optional and can be purchased at your local home improvement store. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for installation. Premium steel security doors have three screen options, glass, perforated metal, or insect screen. Here, we show you how to install each of these three options. Begin by unpacking the screen and or glass panel you purchased. With the glass panel, gently lower it into position. Attach the screen clips provided and tighten to hold the glass in place as shown here. To attach a perforated metal screen panel, attach to the door with the screen clips provided. For an insect screen panel, attach to the door as shown here. These panels can be switched out with each other after the security door is installed. To determine the swing direction of your security door, place it against your entryway door frame. If the hinge side of the security door is on the same side as your entryway door handle, rotate it 180 degrees. The handles should be on the same side. To determine how to center your surface mount security door on your entryway trim, follow this easy guide. First, measure your trim from inside to inside. Next, measure the width of the security door from jam to jam outside edge. To center your security door, subtract the two measurements you just took and divide by two. This measurement is used from the inside of your trim to mark on both sides to center the door. Mark this at the top, middle, and bottom of the trim. Following this method will ensure your door is centered and square. Examine the trim surrounding the main entryway door. If there is a doorbell that's within the measurement taken for the security door width, it will be necessary to relocate it. Using the measurements as a guide, position the door in the center of the entryway trim and secure with supporting clamps or blocks. Verify that the door is level. Once satisfied, drive four temporary screws into the hinge side jam. Place the latch mechanism into the door as shown. Note, the slope side of the latch should face inward. If not, remove the lock assembly and rotate the entire piece vertically 180 degrees so the latch is on the bottom. Push in the latch until it's fully recessed. Rotate the latch 180 degrees as shown and push back through the faceplate hole. Next, rotate the lock assembly 180 degrees and place back into the door with the latch on top and the slope facing inward. With the latch facing the proper direction, fasten the assembly to the door using the screws provided. Attach the inside and outside handles with the screws provided. From the inside of the door, with the keyhole facing out and the thumb turn facing inward, insert the locking cylinder through the hole at the bottom of the faceplate. Secure in place with the screws provided. To change the handle direction so the handle curves either up or down according to your taste, remove the handle clips on both handles, swap the handles, and replace the clips. Open and close the door to make sure that the handle is operating properly. Attach the lock side jam with temporary screws, making sure it's flush with the hinge side jam. Next, place the top head jam into position. Use shims to ensure the reveal is even between the door and top jam and attach with temporary screws. If the door sticks out from the jam frame, it may be necessary to shim the door. Loosen the top temporary screw where the shim will be placed and insert the shim. Adjust the door until it is plumb. Once the door is plumb, remove a temporary screw one at a time and pre-drill a quarter inch hole for the one-way screws. Using the one-way tool provided, Install the one-way screws to the hinge side jam and repeat this process for each screw on the top and lock side jams. Finally, remove any excess shim material from the door. Attach the bottom bar and secure into position with the screws provided. On the threshold plate, carefully outline and mark the contour of the entryway door frame on both sides. This will allow the threshold plate to fit snugly and evenly over the existing threshold plate. Using tin snips, 
Carefully trim the marked area until the threshold plate fits correctly. You can also trace and cut the contour onto cardboard and retrace onto the threshold plate if desired. With the four screws provided, secure the threshold into place. Attach the bug sweep to the door as shown. Lower the bug sweep enough to allow for a quarter inch gap between the door and the threshold plate. Once satisfied, make sure the bug sweep is level and then secure into position with the screws provided. Be sure to relocate your doorbell to a new location. And that's all there is to installing your own premium steel security screen door by Unique Home Designs. Thank you for visiting HelpMeInstallIt.com.